what I want to know is that being that it's a 1099 for the uh, lease purchase, um, you guys don't cover no type of insu- uh, insurance uh, benefits like vision. Well, we have a dental. we have a partner. We have a we have a partner company that actually provides benefits to all of our owner operators. They're actually really good. Um, I, I actually did some research on myself, and it turns out the premiums that they offer are lower than what a, a company driver would pay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, guys? In today's episode of the emails, uh, in this episode, I get an email from a company. It looks like it's a lease purchase style company. I don't see nothing about it being a company driver company. But I guess I'll find out a little bit more as I as I get into it. But uh, but from this email that they sent me, um, it 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 has some positive stuff, I guess. But I don't know. We we need to get in. We need to get into this email in today's episode of Lockout Man Podcast. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? I am here. I am back with another episode for you guys to enjoy today. That is right. I am Lockout Men. And welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. That's what it is. I I come to you with different whatever. I I just come to you. I just come to you. In today's episodes of the emails that I receive every day, in this episode right here, we are going to talk about a company called Kawan Kowan Systems. And by the looks of it, I think it's a lease, a lease purchase, a lease purchase, uh, a lease purchase company. I'm not sure. I, I seen Kawan call Kowan. I seen Kowan Systems out here i might be pronouncing it wrong i'm, I'm saying ko wa ko wong k wong but it's it's ko wan c-o-w-a-n systems and they're offering a lease purchase program so in this email that i received from I'm not sure who it is uh it doesn't say but it says here you are approved or pre-approved for Colwine Systems Lease Purchase Program. Apply now. How am I pre-approved? Like, I mean, do they, you have to give them permission to go into your background, right? I think. So how are you pre-approved for a lease purchase? Let's, let's find out a little bit more about Colwine. Cold, cold wine, shall we? All right. In the email, they got a nice little picture of the truck and a couple of couple of guys that looks like they work there. Uh, it says right here, Kowan System Lease Purchase Detail, pre uh, certified pre lease, certified pre lease Peterbilt five seventy nine, years, colors, models based on avail on avail- availability. Nothing older than a 2016. No credit check, zero money down. Day one rider policy, no additional fee. No force round the clock dispatch. Endless support to guarantee a successful partnership. Tractor specs for OTR, Qualcomm, APU, APU, power inverters and refrigerators. Endless freight network to maximize your week. Pay starts at a dollar fifteen per mile, with a contracted guarantee of two cents increase each year and twice in the first year. Toll scales are paid one hundred percent. Worry-free maintenance and protection plan. Below is how a typical week would be for a successful owner-operator working a full 
2,750 miles a week. Now, remember, you only get paid $1.15 a mile. So let's, let's see what this breaks down to. Uh, 2,750 miles a week at $1.15 a mile, including line haul and current FSC, equals $3,162. Fuel consumption, $829. Current net fuel cost discounts at $2.11. Truck payment, $550 a week. Nothing older than a 2016 Peter 579 with APU, power inverter, and Qualcomm. Don't say nothing about a refrigerator. Maintenance and security escrow deductions, $330 a week. Miscellaneous business expenses, insurance, occupational accidental coverage, tax, 2290 tax forms, etc., $187 a week. Your net take home pay is $1,265 a week. Now they said they they said uh if you decide to work a full 3000 miles it's basically the same thing you get uh a dollar 15 a mile at 3000 miles which ups it to $3450 and your take home pay your net take home pay is $1449 a dollar 15 cent a mile that seems a bit low don't you think a dollar 15 cent a mile is that good you know that may be good for new lease drivers you know what i'm saying maybe a driver that been doing it for like about a year year and a half and he wants to convert over to you know owner operating owner operation but he wanted to do lease before he do owner operation just to get a taste of it you know this might be good for that person but if you are if you're a veteran driver and if you're a veteran driver with maybe five six seven years and you want to jump in the lease purchase program with said company do you think fourteen hundred dollars on the top end is good for you or do you think twelve hundred dollars on the low end is good for you i don't know i don't know they say here if i want to apply please apply and we can jump right into it well let's get a little bit more clarity in this company shall we uh good. how are you today i'm i'm good i'm good i, I want to call i want to i called again because i have a i've received an email from you guys uh saying that i was pre-approved for a Cowan system lease purchase program I just uh from the email that I received sure what type of um what type of experience do you have I mean do you have over the road experience uh yes I do yes I do all right because uh, we do ask for at least one year um over the road experience in the last uh, three years um, it is a lease purchase program where you're out two to three weeks at a time. Um, we break it down to where, we, you know, we have two phases of our program. The first phase is finishing up the lease, and the second phase is a buyout phase where there is no balloon payment. We break it down over two years. Okay, so let, so how, how long is the initial lease? Um, depending on what year, we, we have... 2016 through 20 are brand new trucks and it could be anywhere from one to four years four years being the brand new ones okay so for so let's say if i decide to get a brand new one which is going to cost me a little bit more per week so if i get a brand if i go with a brand new truck uh i gotta do four year lease on that and an and additional and an additional two years for the buyout Yep, that's if you're interested in doing the buyout. It's optional. I mean, you're more than welcome to pay off the value of that tractor at that time. Wow. So we're looking at about a total of six years um, with with the buyout included. For a brand new one. Yeah, for a brand for a brand new truck with the buyout included, right? Correct. All right. Now let me ask you this. Uh, let's af so after the four years after the four years, what decision do I got to make? 
as far after the four years? Um, do I got to if if I want to buy out or do I got to do a it? New lease if you want. Oh, OK. So it's a it new. All depends on... oh, I'm sorry. It depends on what you want to do. Oh, OK. OK. So if I want to get into a new lease, if I want to get into a new lease, then I could just start a whole new one with a whole brand new truck or with the with the truck that yeah, I will continue I mean... with. Yeah, I would look. Um, I'd look at it like you know, if you were buying a car, leasing a car. All right, after a certain amount of years of leasing a car, you get the choice of buying it out, or you know, most of the time people go into getting a new lease, you know, a new a new truck at that time. So, if you get a 2020, by three years you'll have 2023, 2024s that are coming in. You might be interested in that, um, or you know, most of the time the value of that tractor. Um, if it's in, you know, good condition, you're buying into it, you want to have that truck, it's usually right around, um, you know, you know, 55, 60,000 um, for a buyout. And then we break that down over two years, and it's just optional, so you don't have to worry about that balloon payment. Uh, we make it optional to for two years for you. All right. So, make it. so the bottom, so as I'm looking at the email, the bottom, the bottom portion for five hundred. What's this say? Five hundred and fifty-five dollars or five hundred and fifty-five dollars. That's for that's for what type of? I mean, for what year truck? Uh, twenty sixteen. So the newer ones are more up in around six hundred, six twenty. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the new so the newer ones is six hundred and twenty dollars a week, and the sixteens. So it's like the so it, it what it goes up like twenty dollars per. So if I want a twenty seventeen or something like that, it'll be what five seventy or something like that. Um, it would be um if you're like twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, yeah, I'd be anywhere between five seventy and five eighty. Oh, okay. Like I could give you an example of what I'm looking at right now, what trucks we have in stock, and kind of give you an idea. Um. Look up real quick. So we don't. We let's see. We have a 2018 right now. It's right at about 579. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's about 564 right now. Okay. Okay. So basically, for the first four years, it's it's. It, now, excuse me if I if I if I sound kind of cynical because you know, like I said, I, I I like to break down everything that I see in this email. But within the first four years, it's pretty much renting the truck so if anything should happen to me so if anything should happen to me say if i decide to quit i get terminated or anything of that matter all the funds that i paid into the truck is gone i i I can't i can't get that back right well, you're paying off the value of the truck, and you're also you have a truck while you're making money. You're working, and you're making money during that time. Okay, so it's like you're putting wear and tear on that truck as it is. It's like a car, you know. You wouldn't be able to turn in a car and put that value, and it's you're sitting there and you're you're working every day with it, and you're making money with it. So it's actually going into that, but um, you would you would be contracted into that um, that like I said that lease term going into that buyout period. Okay. So if you're two years into it, I mean, you would in let's just say something happened, um, you would either turn in the truck because there's still remaining value on it, and you don't have the total yet, or you know. Oh like, wait a minute! So this so, way to pay for, so this so this is not a walk away lease. It's not. No. Oh okay okay so now 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 let me ask you this question if it's being that it's not a walk away lease what if i decide to go work for another company can i take the truck with me i'm still paying for it right no you wouldn't it's it's through it's through count systems it's actually you know like I said, until you have that title in your hands you wouldn't be able to do anything outside of working with count oh okay see now that's something now that's something to really really consider because let's say if i do decide to quit the company I'm still responsible for that balance on that truck, right? Uh, no, you wouldn't take a credit hit or anything like that. Just turn in the truck. I mean, it's not like we run your credit report and you get a, you know, you know, you owe this. I mean, just turn in the truck. All uh, right, that's what we ask you to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So down here at the bottom, it 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 it, it pretty much breaks down uh, how much I'll be making uh, preliminary. Would I be making if I did two thousand five hundred uh two thousand seven hundred and fifty miles 
and three thousand miles. So my take home pay, Correct. my take home pay on the low end will be somewhere around twelve hundred dollars, and then on the high end it'll be four uh four hundred uh fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and you can see exactly what's coming out. You know, you can see that the fuel is being taken out. Mm-hmm. Your, you can, your miscellaneous expenses are taken out as mm-hmm. well. So, you know, when you're taking all that out, that's actually what you're bringing home. I mean, you are responsible as a 1099 employee to pay for your taxes. Mm-hmm. So that would be something that you would be responsible for. Um, so they always ask, well, being with a company, as a company driver, you might be able to, you know, they take out the tax. Well, you would be responsible for that. Okay. Now, a dollar right. fifteen a mile, man, is it's seems, 13. huh? It's hour thirteen per mile. Uh, on in the email, that's why I like clarification. In the email, it yeah. says a dollar fifteen. Yeah, well, um, you should. What it is is uh, the fuel surcharge that goes up and down, but your um, you know, your loaded miles stays the same. You would start at let's. You know, whatever the fuel surcharges, you add that on your pay, which you would start out at ninety four cents per mile. What? Whoa! All right. Whoa! Um, Hold on. Now that's a little bit less than what what it is on here. So what's the actual? Well, that's what your fuel surcharge. Oh, oh. With your fuel surcharge, it would have you at that rate. Oh, okay. So what is the actual come in the door rate? Um, ninety four cents per mile plus a current fuel surcharge. Right now, it'd be right around a dollar thirteen per mile. Man, that's, I don't know, that's kind of a bit low, considering. But I get, I, I, it says here I would, get a, I, I would get a cent raise for like the first two, two, cents. Oh, two, cents, two cents twice in the first Correct. year. Correct, 90 days and after a year. Okay, 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 okay. And then after two years and after three years. Okay. 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 So, uh, for clarification purposes, this this is not a walk away lease. Uh, ninety four, ninety four cent a mile plus the fuel surcharge, um, yeah. um, around five hundred and seventy to around six hundred and forty dollars for the trucks per week, um. And the insurance is, I mean, not the insurance, but the taxes is are on 1099. Now, being that we doing uh, 1099. Whoa. Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess they put me on the clock. <laughs> in training purposes. Your call is very important to us. Count recruiting is rich speaking. Uh okay, now it's a different guy. <laughs> uh I was just talking to a gentleman. I think we got dis uh we got disconnected. Uh Okay. I, for- I forgot his name. We we just talked was like, any- We just talked like two seconds ago. Um Okay. Uh, 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 well, he pretty. He didn't give you his name. No, uh, he gave me his name, but I I probably forgot. You know what I'm saying? But okay. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I I just wanted to. I I just wanted. To, you know, I was just going over, over the email with him. Uh, the last question. I only got like maybe one more question anyway. What I want to know is that being that it's a 10.99 for the uh, lease purchase, um. You guys don't cover no type of insur- uh, insurance uh, benefits like vision, well, we have a, dental. We have a partner. We have a we have a partner company that actually provides benefits to all of our owner operators. They're actually really good. Um, I, I actually did some research on myself, and it turns out the premiums that they offer are lower than what a, a company driver would pay because they understand that additional expense out of pocket. Being an owner operator, well, they what they did is they ca- they just keep their costs low. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, so, so they they actually really good with that. So what what are we talking a week? About how much? Uh, roughly for an individual, uh, it's like a, actually monthly around one fifty, one eighty a month. Oh, okay. So that, yeah, that they're, that's they're being they're taken. So really that's fair. being taken out every week, though, right? That you know that's one. Uh, yeah. That's one fifty divided by. By, divided by four weeks of pay that they take correct. out if correct. if we decide That's to correct. go if we decide if, to go yep. with that. 
Oh, okay. Okay. That is correct. All right. Well, that's that's basically all I wanted to know. Everything else uh we pretty much went over and I'm I'm pretty much uh pretty much up on that. So I do appreciate uh the time and uh appreciate the clarification on the email that you guys sent me. So thank you very much. No problem. Take care. All right. All right. Callwin Systems, y'all. So let's break out the calculator. So the net take home pay on the low end is about is about twelve hundred and forty nine dollars on the low end. Now, being that you got to do your own taxes, your ten ninety nine, let's say for me, I say average is about maybe two to three hundred dollars, depending on what you guys have uh, for your tax purposes. So let's subtract that. So three hundred dollars. So your take home pay is actually nine hundred and forty nine dollars. Now, one hundred and fifty divided by four is thirty seven dollars a week. So nine seventy to try it. So your take home pay is about nine fifty, maybe about nine. I'll say nine hundred to nine fifty. Is that enough? for you guys to do a lease purchase program with Cowan Systems. It's something to think about. It's always something to think about when you're going lease or when you're thinking about going lease. Now, this company right here, it is not a walk away. Now, he kind of like teeter-tottered a little bit. He says it's not a walk away lease. But when I asked them if you're responsible for the for the 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 balance of the lease, he said no. So if it's not a walk away lease, how could you how could you not still be responsible for the balance due on that truck? Also, keep in mind that let's say something happened to you, like if you get terminated or you decide to walk, you know, if you decide to go to another company or something like that, you won't be able to take the truck with you. Make sure you keep that in mind when you're thinking about doing leasing with any company that offers leasing. You know, you 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 might look up and get with a company that you be able to take the truck with you to whatever other company you decide to go to if said company doesn't work out, all right? So a dollar 13 cent, not a dollar 15 cent as it says here in the email. So a dollar 13 cent. So your take home pay will be somewhere around $1,250 plus on the low end and Fourteen hundred dollars and fifty, uh, fourteen hundred and fifty on the high end, and after expense, uh, after taxes, expenses, benefits, the low end on the fourteen hundred would probably be about a grand, and the low end on the twelve is going to be somewhere under a grand. So, think about it before you guys uh, decide to do leasing. You know, when they talk you into it, because as he said, when you come in, to come in, the lease is like 90 something cent a mile plus the two cent fuel surcharge, which brings it up to a dollar 13 cent a mile. Think about that. You know, I don't want to call it what it is. You know, I don't want to say it's a glorified company driver, considering that you're not walking away. But as I told him. I'm thinking that this is more like rent to own. I'm renting the truck to own it, you know, four years for the lease, an additional two years to buy it out. Choice is yours. Think about it. Think about it. All right. Well, Cowan Systems, y'all, if y'all interested in that, definitely give them a call. Uh, the phone number, the phone number varies. So I could not get you a phone, uh, adequate phone number, but, um, but, um, 
if you look it up, if you Google it or something like that, you'll be able to find it and get a little bit more, uh, get a little bit more on there. He did mention that they they do offer company, uh, company driver status. So find out about that. I was only calling about the lease because that's what the email entails. All right, all right. If you guys interested in calling, give them a call. If you're interested in emails that you get and you're not understanding or anything like that. Yo, shoot them over to me. Blockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, or, you know, or hit me up in the D, uh, DM over in Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So, with that said, I'm going to have somebody to play me out. Going to have somebody play me out. If you guys like this content and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and get this brother some coffee. I believe this episode is brought to you by... C. Alice, wait, Celsius, something is brought to you by that. Make sure you get me some. All right, hit me up in the uh, Cash App. It's in the description. Uh, what else? That's about it. What else? Um, if you like this content, like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that said, I am your humble host, Lockout Man. This is the Lockout Man Podcast Show. In this episode of Email Recruiters. Next week, I don't know who it's going to be because I got to wait till somebody send me an email, but we'll find out though. All right. All right. We'll find out together. On that note, you guys take it easy and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace.